The Revit Piston jeans are new for spring summer 2021. They are one of two new jeans in this year's lineup from Revit and they come in at $149.99 and a level AC approved. So this is a fantastic price point and Revit have really gone about trying to make the price as low as possible. It's clear in this season. It's a slight move against recent trends to get more and more levels of protection towards a AA and AAA rating in the new C approval system in recognition, I think, of the fact that most people for urban riding usage are quite content with level A. There is other choice out there if you want double or triple A from other brands at higher prices. But generally speaking, the higher the levels of protection when it comes to a garment, the more reinforcement there needs to be, the harder wearing the fabric needs to be. And when it comes to jeans, you often see multiple layers being used or an outer layer that's single layer that is really quite unjean like So to keep things as jean like as possible, Revit have gone for a Cordura denim single layered blend. So this means there's nothing underneath what you can see here on the outer. There's no Kevlar or Aramid fiber abrasion resistant lining behind it that detracts slightly from that jean like feel. These really are just a jean like pair of jeans that have a Cordura denim blended outer. This is in fact 85% cotton. So this is actually a very high degree of denim on the outer. And then you've only got about 12% of the Cordura polyamide fabric interwoven with that, elevating it to this abrasion resistance required to meet level A. You then have a couple of percent left and that's really for the elastine for the stretch in the fabric. So that makes it very comfortable to wear. And despite the relative sort of price point being quite cheap of these, they've got all the same winning formula in terms of the fit and the finishing and the quality of the triple needle stitching that you can see evidence throughout all the seams that you get with Revit. You also get included the knee armor included at that price. They don't have the hip armor as they have done in previous collections. So do be aware of that. And again, that's in an effort to keep the price down for people that don't want the hip armor. I am one of those people, I often don't bother wearing the hip armor. So if I'm paying to have it and don't need it, I would have preferred to have an option without it. And you can simply pay to play on the products page over at urbanrider.co.uk where the hip armor is available as an optional extra at about 15 to 20 pounds. The knee armor that you do get included is level one C approved and it's super ergonomic. It's their in-house award-winning C smart level one armor, which is removable if you want to, but you really don't need to. You can just fit and forget. It's actually fitted to the mannequin here. And unless I kind of pinch around it, you probably wouldn't have noticed particularly that it was actually there at all. It is accessed via internal pockets. So you would need to take the jeans off to get the armor in and out but because of the relative thinness of it, it's not really noticeable. And most of the time you just forget it was there and just get on with your day anyway. But if you want to remove it, you can do so. The sizing on these in terms of the waist and leg length is absolutely spot on as it always is with Revit. But one thing worth mentioning is the naming of the jeans is a bit weird because Revit's official title for these is the Piston Skinny Jean. They've done exactly the same with the other new jean, calling it the Jackson Skinny Jean. And this is something we wish that they just hadn't done. The whole skinny jean fad, thankfully, seems to have sort of come and gone mostly. And skinny jeans aren't something that are particularly mainstream. Um, so calling this a skinny jean implies this is for those niche people that want something really, really super, super slim. And that's not the case. These are definitely a slim fit, which is just a sort of fit that most of our customers like. That's to say it's not just a straight leg. It's slightly fitted, but it's so certainly not constrictive in the way that I'd consider a skinny jean to be. So we have removed the word skinny from the title to stop the confusion. But if you see the same jean named similarly anywhere else, that's it. It doesn't come in different leg thicknesses. It's just the one and it's a slim fit, not a skinny fit. So Revit, if you ever watch this, please stop calling things skinny if they're not designed to be an outright skinny jean. It just confuses people. The actual belt loops, as you can see, there's plenty of them going around the back with the two in the middle at the back as well just to get a really nice secure leverage on the jean so you can keep that nice and tight. Revit do their Safeway belt, which is a clever little system, meaning you can actually zip this up to a compatible jacket from their range using the belt loops on the jeans. But as you can see, this jean is pretty understated. It's very much just a plain looking standard, really nicely cut jean just for use off the bike as far as anyone else would know and there's nothing to give it away. The usual kind of moto nods you'd get would be things like horizontal stitching across the outsides of the jeans where the pockets are on the inside. And it's all the more impressive because this is just the one layer that they've managed to incorporate it without doing that. So it's really nice and well executed. The price point is I think very fair for what it is. If you do want something that is more protective, you can certainly see a wide range over on urbanrider.co.uk. But for those who want something that's as comfortable as they really can be, giving you the sort of level AC approval requirements, then this is a great bet. And also do check out the Jackson jean, which comes in different colors. The leg lengths are available in three different lengths. So we've got 32, 34 and 36, and the waist increments go up in individual inches from 30, which is fantastic. So like myself being more of a 33, often getting stuck in between sizes, the 33 here fits perfectly. 
and we think that they've got the sizing spot on. So in stock for spring 2021, we think a great item. Let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned for more video reviews of the world's finest riding gear. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.